Hey, what's up guys, Arut here, and today I want to talk about PvP and state of PvP in Season of Discovery Phase 3. Now, if you don't know, during the last patch cycle, which happens on Tuesday for NA and Wednesday for EU, what Blizzard did is they added blanket 50% damage reduction in PvP everywhere, so not only in Battlegrounds, but everywhere in open world including the stv event Ashenville event etc now they added this because they thought that the damage is too high and that healing cannot match the damage that's being done by the players in pvp now if we go through this post that you can find on the wow forums is Kyvex community manager here saying that this coming weekend we will test an adjustment to player versus player combat in Season of Discovery. We will implement a global damage reduction aura on PvP combat between players and player controlled pets and other units. By the way, I believe that this last part didn't even work, so... But we can skip that, it only affects a couple of classes and... Um, yeah, it sucks for them. When we started Season of Discovery, we knew that PvP would become significantly more fast-paced and bursty, which with each class being capable of significantly more damage output, and this quickly proved to be true. We experimented with the damage reduction aura in Battlegrounds during Phase 1, but it didn't work as well as we hoped, mostly because healing was scaling more aggressively than damage at that point. Causing healing classes to become significantly more oppressive in Battlegrounds that, than they normally would be. Now, I would argue this point that it wasn't necessarily true even in phase 1, because damage reduction was around 25% uh, or 20% and with the helm it was 25%, uh, it was something around those numbers. And it was only in battlegrounds. And while it was really noticeable, it didn't make that much of impact when fighting healers or Healers did not have that big of an impact in battlegrounds because damage was high, except priests. Priests were the only problem, in my opinion, in phase 1, because they had penance that would heal you to full, and they have um, their bubble. And when you apply blanket damage reduction to our classes, they, it, it makes it significantly harder to go through that bubble. And that's why priests were so overpowered and all the pre-mates in battlegrounds were stacking like at least three to four priests. Now other healers like druids, paladins, shamans, they were not a problem. I mean you could still kill people and if there were no damage reduction they couldn't actually do anything. They would just go out of mana so fast you could either kill them, ignore them or kill anyone else it was pretty much fine but priests were the ones that were really OP and this damage reduction felt miserable now what's happening in phase 3 well in phase 3 they did not nerf it by like 20 to 25 percent they nerfed it by 50 percent the damage portion and they did not touch the healing so again priests are OP again and um, other healers are really really strong so and not just the healers some hybrid classes that can heal their healing throughput is like they are healers now but they can still deal damage so it's while the dps was pretty high and we can all agree that it was too bursty you would die against rogues in stun if you don't have a trinket, even if you do have a trinket, they can just blind you and then reopen on you again, and you would still die, because the damage was too high. Uh, there were a bunch of other classes that could one-shot you, or do so much damage that even if you had healer healing you, it would be really hard for them to keep you alive, especially if you had a couple of DPS on, on you, or on a healer. It was really nightmare. So the change was, while the blanket damage reduction change is not really the best option you can go with, it's pretty boring, but it can effectively, effectively work, it was 50%, and 
was just too much. Now you go to the BGs, you cannot kill anything. Like you need to... Even CCing the healers doesn't do anything because you cannot... You can have 3-4 people attacking one player and they may struggle to kill them depending on, you know, what is your target. If it's someone that's tanky like um, Shaman or Druid, you cannot kill it even if you CC the healer because in the BGs it's not organized play. You will not be able to CC healer for like 10 seconds to have enough time to burst someone down. So the games are really drawn out, they are long and whoever has more healers wins. Now you can argue that it's always like that, but at least when the damage is higher than the healing, you can still have some chances of winning even if you don't have as many healers as opposite team does. Now, the problem here is that the damage was reduced by 50% and the healing wasn't touched at all. I feel like that if the numbers were slightly closer to the phase 1, it would have it it would have been fine. Uh, I, I would even say that it, that would be a good change. Um, or if they wanted to slow the game a bit, if they did not want to make it as bursty, they could apply the fifty percent nerf to damage and twenty five percent nerf to healing. But not just the healing. This twenty five percent should be a nerf to healing and to any type of shields because when you apply 50% damage nerf then again you make priests exceptionally strong and you make other classes that can throw a shield like mages exceptionally strong as well because even though that mage's shield may not be as strong as priest shield it is still exponentially stronger as uh, compared to healing especially if you nerf healing as well. Now, when there are like changes like this, where you have mages that can heal, that can bubble themselves and also do damage, you mess up the balance uh, uh, a lot. This is the first time where I haven't get a single rank in PvP. Now, of course, this season of Discovery Phase 3 is up for a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. I didn't play it at first, I had I was busy with other things, but this week I had some time, I wanted to go back into the PvP, because from PvP I can get at least three really good items for ranged hunter, and I'm still at rank 5. I only got, as you can see, I got last week like 45,000 honor, and this week uh, when the changes were implemented, I only got 17,000 and this was few BGs and I was absolutely so sick and tired of it that I spent more time mining nodes and leveling mining and engineering and had more fun doing questing in open world than actually doing PvP. While I, I, I would say that compared to classic classic or to vanilla classic, um, SOD was definitely more bursty like vanilla pvp is pretty much the same uh, everyone is, gets bursted down and that's it now it got exponentially worse in season of discovery due to so many runes like each class in in phase three having six runes that either boosts your damage or utility and or you know healing but damage is scaling way more than healing is i mean you just add even if like out of those six runes, even if you add three of them just for damage or for new damaging ability or amplifying your damage, it gets really bursty. So essentially the change was kind of good because it was simple and it supposed to work. Now you don't want to make some complicated changes and then redo them 10 times in a temporary game mode because Season of Discovery is a temporary game mode, so you cannot really build on top of it, or you cannot plan on building on top of it. So you want to make simple and quick changes. And this was simple and quick change, it was just as Blizzard always do, they don't 
nerf something or buff something by 10, 15, even 20%, they go all the way. They nerf it by 50% or they buff certain classes by 200%. If you remember Balance Druid and their Star Surge buffs. Crazy. If they decide to keep this change, now another thing that I want to say is uh, actually the good thing that Blizzard did, the really good thing is they said, okay, let's try it out and let's see how it will work. We will do it only for a week. It sucked. This past week sucked so much for PvPers, at least in my opinion. Keep in mind everything I say is my subjective opinion. I'm not representing community or anyone else. It, this is just my experience playing the game. It sucked. It, it was really bad. You couldn't kill anything. You would go in, in, in the raid. You would have like a bunch of world buffs, a bunch of different buffs. You would crit bosses for like 2k, 2.5k, I don't know, maybe some classes even more. And then you go in PvP, you have 50% damage reduction, you don't have world buffs, you don't have most of the buffs, let's say, or not all of the buffs. And then you crit for 700. Your auto attack is doing, I don't know, 5 to 600 in raid, and then you go in PvP and it does 200. And it's just for... And keep in mind that you also have health buffs in PvP and it's 30% if I remember correctly. So if I just step in PvP, I'm gonna have around 5k health. I'm gonna have even more health if I um, use my stamina gear. So you're, we are talking about everyone having between 5 to 7k health, maybe even more if you're a tank. And the damage is just like, I don't know. 300 to 400 per spell and that just you, you cannot kill anyone so the games are really long they are really boring it's 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 i did not see anyone saying anything positive about the, this change however i'm gonna give credit to blizzard they only made it one week and they said okay we will pull it out after one week no matter how it goes and then we will see feedback from the community now the feedback from at least from what I saw from the guildies, from the forums, it's terrible. Nobody liked 50% blanket nerf. Everyone that I saw is pretty much okay with the nerf if it's around 20 to 25% or 50% damage nerf but also 25 to 30% healing nerf. These are just, you know, numbers that were tossed out there but 50% nerf is just too much um, without touching healing but again if the healing if the damage is going to be nerfed by a lot and healing is going to be nerfed as well there needs to be some kind of change for the classes that can bubble so that those bubbles are reduced as well equally to the healing uh, reduction now seeing all of this i feel like that phase three started kind of okay with the pvp it started better than the season two i would say because in season two you had uh, different classes that were really broken, like shamans. So there are no that many broken classes or as broken as some of the classes were in phase two. But this change absolutely killed the game. I did not see anyone who enjoyed the PvP. So all that we can hope for is that Blizzard will either decide not to pull this back into the game or if they decide to do it, it will be a bit lesser of a nerf, so not 50%, or they will, they will nerf healing as well. Because even though that they may think that game is unplayable now in PvP, which is half true, I would say, it is way worse when they apply this 50% damage nerf across the board. It's a lot less enjoyable. It is a lot slower, it is um, extremely bad, and um, I mean, people just want to see big numbers. If they are in PvP or, or in PV, they want to see big numbers. Also, people don't like really slow games. They don't want to not be able to kill anyone. Maybe only healers are enjoying um, these game BGs right now, or this blanket nerf. But I think that even from the healing perspective, it's a bit frustrated when the game goes forever. 
I played one BG today, uh, Arati Basin, and we were fighting uh, for the Blacksmith node. There were two, three healers on the Alliance side there, and same on the Horde side. They weren't even priests, and we were fighting for that BS node for some, for it felt like 10 to 15 minutes, and that's just crazy. You don't want to be, you don't want that type of um, PvP experience, in my opinion. If you need to choose between fast-paced game and the slow-paced game, even though that you do not have to choose, you can just apply the nerf with some balanced numbers, let's say it like that, I would choose fast-paced over slow-paced. Meaning, fast-paced, not retail-like fast-paced, where everything is fast-paced, and you just mash your keyboard, but people dying faster or people dying slower. Now, of course, if some classes are imbalanced, yeah, just nerf them out or buff others, whatever. But I just wanted to voice my opinion on this most recent change because I feel like it's literally killing PvP in Season of Discovery Phase 3. Let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.